to thank the organizers for opportunity to give a talk at this conference. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm going to talk about the joint results with Andrei Lvovich Petinsky, Tatiana Alexandrovna Suslina, and Elena Anatolina Zizhnik. We deal with uh, homogenization of non-local operator of convolution type. Uh, let's go into detail. Uh, we consider the operator of the following form. Uh, we assume that our coefficient has the following properties. The coefficient A is non-negative, uh, symmetric, uh, summable, uh, normalized by unity, uh, and possesses the three first moments. Uh, the coefficient nu is assumed to be bounded, uh, separated from zero, uh, symmetric, and periodic uh, in both coordinates, both variables. Uh, under this consideration, under this uh, condition, our operator A is bounded in L2, uh, self-adjoint, non-negative, and the lower bound of the spectrum of the operator A is zero. Uh, the operator A is the non-local self-adjoint operator of convolution type. Uh, such operators arise uh, in descri uh, description of uh, a random system of uh, the large number of particles. Uh, the homogenization problem of these operators uh, has a several interesting features. These features allow us um, to look, uh, take, uh, look, take a new look at the um, operator theoretic approach in homogenization theory. Okay. Uh, the differential operator, uh, second order elliptic, uh, non-negative, uh, are usual objects of, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the differential periodic elliptic uh, operators are usual objects of homogenization theory. Let's consider the following classical problem. Uh, we are interested in the behavior of the solution uh, for small period. Uh, mm, under suitable condition, uh, it's possible to find out the some effective operator A1, which has the following uh, uh, A not, sorry, A not. Uh, which has the following properties. In some sense, operator A naught approximates the operator A epsilon and the resolvent of the operator A naught approximates the resolvent of A epsilon, for small epsilon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mm. There are a lot of works which devoted to um, homogenization theory. We shall mention here just several of them. Uh, in pioneer papers of Mikhail Slomonich Birman and Tatiana Alexandra Suslina, uh, the operator theoretic approach uh, has been developed. Uh, they consider the periodic uh, elliptic operator of second order. Uh, the leading term of approximation for resolvent of the operator 
a epsilon was found. Uh, here, a node is so-called effective operator. It is a second order elliptic differential operator, self-adjoint differential operator with constant coefficients. Uh, such inequalities in homogenization theory are called uh, operator error estimates. Uh, the similar estimate was obtained uh, by Vasily Vasily Zhikov and Svetlana Lina Postukova in 2005. They used the shift method. Oh. Uh, let's return to our problem. Okay. We study homogenization of non local operator of convolution type with rapidly oscillating coefficient. That is this operator. It is convenient to include the following scaling factor. Uh, we assume that the coefficient A as above is non negative, symmetric, uh, normalized to unity, and possesses the three moments. Uh, the coefficient mu as above. Uh, bounded, separated from zero, symmetric, and periodic. Uh, oops. The operator A epsilon was studied by Andrei Boyevich Petinsky and Yelena Antonina in 2017. Uh, the limit of the resolvent of the operator A epsilon in strong the operator topology was obtained. Uh, here, a node is appropriate effective elliptic differential operator with constant coefficients. Our main result is the following, the following operator error estimate. Mm, okay. Uh, Let's describe um, in details uh, the effective operator A node. Uh, to describe the effective, effective matrix G node, uh, we need to consider the auxiliary problem. Uh, let's consider um, ZD periodic vector valued solution of a problem three the cell problem, problem on the cell of periodicity. Uh, the problem three has a unique ZD periodic solution. Uh, let's define the effective matrix G0 by the following expression. Uh, it depends on the solution of auxiliary problem and on coefficients of operator under study. The effective operator A0 is defined on the Sobolev class H2. Okay. Uh, again, we consider the operator of the following form. Uh, we assume that our coefficients satisfy the following conditions, one and two, A is non-negative, symmetric, normalized by, by unity and possesses three moments, and mu uh, bounded, separated from zero, symmetric, and periodic in both variables. So our main results, uh, if, uh, our operator uh, <coughs> satisfy the following condition, A and 2, then the following estimates holds true. Here C is, C depends on the parameter of problem and effective operator and effective matrix uh, defined above, are defined above. 
Uh, let me note that A epsilon is bounded operator in L2, while A naught is an elliptic differential operator. Uh, Let's consider the method. Mm. We use the operator approach, uh, uh, operator theoretic approach developed by Michal Slavonich Birman and Tatiana Alexandrovna Suslina. Firstly, our problem is reduced uh, to the problem of studying of approximation of operator A. Uh, of the resolvent of the operator A uh, near, the, near the zero. Uh, secondly, the Gelfand transformation reduces the problem to the study of approximation uh, for the resolvent of the operator A of psi uh, near the zero, where A of psi is the operator of the following horrible form. Uh, here, uh, A with tilde, is proportional to Gilfan transform of the coefficient a. Uh, the operator a of psi can be represented as a difference of potential p and integral operator b of psi. Let me note that potential P bounded and separated from zero and operator B of Psi is compact. So the spectrum of the operator A of Psi is discrete in the following interval. Uh, this is the first um, remarkable feature of our problem. For differential elliptic operators, the Mm, layers representation A of Xi has a discrete spectrum. In our case, it's not true. But in our case, the spectrum of the operator A of Xi at the lower edge of the spectrum is discrete, and it's enough. Okay. Uh, by the standard way, the computing of asymptotic of this resolvent. Uh, at the near the zero, reduce to compute the asymptotic of the operator A of Xi, F of Xi, for small Xi, where F of Xi is a spectral projection of the operator F, uh, A of Xi corresponding to the sum neighborhood of zero. Okay. But here uh, we have the second remarkable feature of our problem. For differential operator, uh, layer representation A of Xi depends analytically on parameter Xi. So to compute this asymptotic, we can use um, analytic perturbation theory. But in our case, operator A of Xi is just function of class C3 because um, coefficient A has just three moments. So we can't use analytic perturbation theory. What can we do? Okay, let's go. By virtue of this integral representation, uh, we can say that operator function a of psi f of psi is a function of class C3. So we can, uh, the, the following representation hold true. So we need to find out these coefficients. What should we do? Uh, we substitute the expansion for operator A of Xi into the RIS integral representation and obtain the following relations. G0 is zero, GY is zero, and GIJ is the following 
scorable integrals. Mm, it is wonderful, but the last integrals can be computed. Uh, for this, uh, it's enough to substitute this representation, this uh, decomposition of resolvent of the operator A of zero for two parts. Uh, and after that, we can compute last integrals and receive this answer. Uh, and with it, we receive, uh, we obtain, sorry, obtain, uh, we obtain uh, our main result and form of the um, effective operator. Finally, we give a collection of references here and here. I think I'm, I, I can stop here. Thank you for your attention. Viva Olga Alexander. Okay, uh, questions, comments, please. Please. I have a question about this condition about three moments. And if you have moments between two and three. Yeah. In this After case, that, can we obtain we some have, analog of? If we have uh, something like that, Then we have the following estimate. Pardon. Yes, yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> if you have uh, uh, only two moments, uh, do you have uh, con uh, do you have uh, um, conversions? Simple, con simple conversions. I think yes, but I don't know exactly. Yes, <laughs> mm, oh, okay. Ah, okay. What what is after? Проверялся вопрос. You don't have, but you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have, but she has. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, maybe. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, other questions, comments? Let us thank the speaker again. Now uh, we complete our uh, 